Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Air Ryuka in-ear style headphones. These sell on Amazon for under $15, which is an average price for low-end uh, headsets, which are certainly better than any boxed headphones you may get when buying a phone or an MP3 player. Uh, with that being said, it's not audiophile grade either. As part of the packaging, there's access to some spare silicone tips for a more comfortable fit. There's also a clip, which you can attach when exercising or jogging. And finally, there's a nice little carrying pouch which you can use to protect the earphones when traveling. This is what the earphones look like. Uh, they remind me of in-ear style monitors more than traditional earphones. With that being said, the construction here feels a little bit on the cheap side. They are made entirely out of plastic. I'm not a huge fan of the kind of two-color design. In particular, the gray plastic here feels a little bit flimsy, whereas the kind of glossy plastic on the bottom here feels a bit more premium. So not exactly sure about the specifics of the build here. I wish they used a metal or aluminum accent instead. However, they are extremely lightweight, and that means if you are wearing these for three or four hours on a single go, they still remain very uh, you know, comfortable, and you won't even notice that they're present. Um, the shape of the earphones themselves are slightly ergonomic, so there's a slight curve on the outsides that fits into the ears and prevents these from falling out, despite the presence of a larger arm which captures the outer rings of your ears. So overall, these are, again, pretty comfortable to use. What's nice about these, though, is the wiring. You can see it has this kind of acrylic plastic material that prevents these wires from breaking or frying too easily, so they're quite resistant to tear and wear. However, it is still a round wire, which means that it's relatively easy to to tangle up, as you can see here. What you also get on these specific headphones is an inline remote control, which you can tap on once to play pause your music and tap on again to answer or reject an incoming phone call when you plug it into a supported Android or an iPhone. The other side features a microphone for answering phone calls if you don't want to uh, you know, place your phone next to your head when speaking. However, this is not a noise-canceling mic, so if you are in outdoor environments, it may struggle a little bit to pick up your voice. However, for indoor calls, it sounded fine. The wire itself is roughly 1.2 meters long, which is average, and what's nice is the other side also has a standard gold-plated 3.5 millimeter jack for connecting into an audio device. When it came to the audio performance for a sub-$15 pair of headphones, they definitely sound better than the price would suggest. The most impressive thing is how clean these sound. Um, they offer a pretty good reproduction as far as uh, having a nice amount of bass. It's not super bass heavy, but um, if you are listening to, let's say, classical music, you do get to hear quite a bit of detail is present. Uh, from the various instruments, the violin, the cello, to the you know, bass, you can definitely detect all of those uh, intimate details that are sometimes hard to recognize on you know, lower-end headphones, which tends to muffle the sound. But on here, they still remain quite clean sounding, which is nice. They also get reasonably loud, which is a good thing if you are using these for sports or exercise purposes. The wire itself also is pretty silent, so even if you jog or move around, even if it catches the sides of your clothing, it doesn't make too much noise uh, when listening to your tracks, which is nice. Um, so overall, pretty good audio experience. Um, some of the downsides would be if you all are are listening to music with the volume all the way up or all the way down, it definitely loses a bit of its detail. And again, the bass isn't quite as heavy as what I would prefer. Um, so sometimes if you're listening to drum beats, uh, let's say in electronic music or EDM, uh, sometimes it doesn't come across quite as uh, nicely as it should. However, for the general you know purpose of listening to some quick tracks, watching a few clips here and there, they certainly fare better than any box headphones that I've come across. So it's a worthy upgrade if you're looking for something cheap, disposable, but also also something that's a little bit better built than your average kind of in-ear cell headphones that comes from other brand names, maybe by Skullcandy, since these actually have a slightly nicer cable quality. You can check out more details about the Air Ruka in-ear cell headphones in our official written review, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Review.